Hello, it's me, Zell, and welcome to the channel where we do reaction videos and other various. Anyways, uh, today we're going to be watching The Mandalorian Season 3, and it's Episode 3, Chapter 19, The Convert. So, obviously based on last episode and also the title of this episode, um, I believe Bo-Katan is a believer. I don't know how diehard of a convert she is, but perhaps... Or perhaps they're just reflecting and referring to Mando or Din, Jaren. But anyways, yeah, so this is the next episode after we saw Bogotan and Din in Mandalore. And they saw some really interesting and cool stuff. And Bogotan is probably like, whoa, maybe I was wrong. So let's see what we're in store for this next episode. So let's get to it. Episode 3, Chapter 19. Oh, is baby checking on him or is he just, did he heal him? Oh, you I bathed all right. You I bathed real it. hard. You bathed in the living waters. You are Mandalorian again. Oh, can like, we leave now? Like what? Nothing. Let's get out of here. Bo, trust yourself. I would invite you in for a feast, but I'm guessing that helmet isn't coming off again. This is the way. This is the way. At least she's being she's being respectful. Oh. oh. We took a hit. Something's coming up on us. You back. think? It looks like a squadron of tie Bro, that came. Oh my gosh. How close are we to Kalabala? So was he babbling because he sensed something was coming? Oh my word. Whoa, dude. Legit. That's so cool. Speedy boy, speedy boy. Oh my gosh, that ballsy maneuver. Heading to you. Oh, there he goes. Nice. Thanks for the battle. 2v2. Two, two. two more to go. Whoa! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not your... No. Bro, they... I mean, at least you weren't in there. Those mudscuffers bombed my home. Uh-oh. That's a revenge charge in music if I ever heard it. Bo, listen to me. Bo, You have Bo. to get out of there. Huh? <gasps> Is this Corsa? Appreciate you letting me speak here tonight. The amnesty program saved no, my life. It's the there are many of us who had no I choice. I believe the pursuit of knowledge is the most noble thing someone can do. Sadly, my research was twisted into something cruel and inhumane at the behest of a desperate individual intent on using cloning technology to secure more power for himself. I That's assure the doctor you that, that my original Drogo. intentions were good. That's a lot of people to speak in front of. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Do you have some chip implanted in you? When I was young... Oh, a nervous tick. Okay. I lost my mother. Her heart gave out. Had simple organ cloning been available oh. on my home world, her death would have been easily preventable. It was then that I vowed to make it my life's work to help others avoid such needless loss. Thanks He's to the groundbreaking work of the Kaminoans, we know that cloning can duplicate an individual from a single genetic strand. Person. How are you finding the city? Comfortable, I hope. Yes, uh, though anything would be comfortable compared to the Outer Rim. <laughs> the Outer Rim, <laughs> I can't imagine. Everything you've been through, you're just so brave. I'm such an inspiration. I'm so glad you're working for us now. Thank you. Surrounded by all these uh, 
people with money. I see you're going to Amnesty Housing. Congratulations Ew. on making it into the program. Thank you. I don't like it. Have you been in Coruscant long? Okay, so it is Coruscant. No. I'm just making sure. Well, I think you will find it awesome. very lovely. Look ahead. Oh, Look at the road, bud. Something to see. Room. Ah. And if you have time. I mean, he felt the same way, even the though he doesn't obviously probably need it, but. It's just so confusing watching Bad Batch and this at the same time. I found the Montabog of Malastar to be utterly... Join us for a drink. Be nice and accepting to him. Amnesty Officer M34. Oh, I want him to Amnesty friends. Scientist, L52. Welcome to Amnesty Housing. It's paradise in comparison. This is He doesn't know how to feel. M40. Hey! Do I recognize G68. him? G68. Uh-oh. Doctor. I didn't expect to see anyone from Moff Gideon's ship here. Oh. Gideon? I didn't know you worked for him. I heard he escaped en route to the War Tribunal. No, that was just... Oh, I try not to think about him anymore. Thanks to Are the rehabilitation program, or? I can contribute to the New Republic. Just like you. What do you miss, L-52? Miss? So they're still going four. by codes. No, I I'm glad that the Empire is... Oh, not like that. <laughs> of course, good riddance. I mean, more like the everyday stuff, like the food. I guess... Maybe those, uh, yellow travel biscuits from the Russian guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that brings back memories. Oh, I don't think you can get those on the core worlds. Uh, no, you can't. Gotta say, though, I like the red ones. Oh. You're crazy. Travel biscuits. Well, what's wrong with this? All right, well. Do that. I want something dry. This is so interesting. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> because of this, Coruscant is one of only a handful of city planets known as an ecumenopolis. City planet. Though Coruscant is often referred to as the center of the galaxy, it's not precisely located at all. I don't know why I'm anxious. No. Is it the cookies? Oh. Travel biscuits. <laughs> but you know, oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Falling behind. Get back to it. He's Thank so nervous. Yeah. Do you think he just feels bad? He really feels like he has to make amends. Like he's just so fortunate to still be alive in there. What an episode, what? You're melting. Oh. <laughs> it's just, um, so many people. So what are those glowing lollies? All these people working together to make something better. Makes me feel rather insignificant. In the right hands, our discoveries could have helped a lot of people. So why not continue your research here? I don't think it's something the New Republic would be interested in. Following orders blindly is how we got in trouble in the first place. Sometimes you have to trust your gut. The New Republic She's is not trying their best, but they're struggling. That the peak of Umate, highest mountain on Coruscant. Oh! Wait, they the referenced this itself. in the High Republic book. Are we allowed to? <laughs> Look how he allowed? looks so innocent. They might be like, sir, please don't touch the artifact. Uh, please refrain from physical uh, contact uh, with so Ume. Sorry. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no littering. Uh, oh. Sorry. That's that's cute and funny. Do you still find your current housing situation comfortable? Wow. Yes. Are you able to maintain a consistent schedule? This Are isn't a therapist, is it? Undue stress due to work a robot therapist? Matters? No. Sounds like you want to continue it. But, I mean, how? What do you need? It's a silly idea. I know it is, but I really Stop. believe that. You want to help the New Republic. They just can't see it yet. I have a lot to make up for. But if your research really is as important as you say, I'll take that risk. Maybe they really are trying to do better. Oh, 
Like, why can't we just take the good? Are you experiencing any undue stress due to work? Every day you have to do that? No. Oh my god. Have you experienced any feelings Have of you anger? experienced any feelings of anger or resentment towards the New Republic government or its representatives? Yes. Apologies if you didn't hear me. Our main objective is to help the Republic. Right? Correct. Does that when you stress and that nervous. supersedes everything else? It does. Hello. Thong's days, am I right? Tongs days, <laughs> Mondays, am I right? Where do you think I got the biscuits? Yep, knew it. She's a little smuggler. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Thank you. Follow me. Scary, scary. Gotta jump the carts. It's really freaking scary. I don't blame you. Ah! Stop acting such a weirdo. Oh! Tongs days. Am I right? We'll work on that. Um, you're at the end of the line, brah. We're gonna jump! What? That's how fast it's going. Now! Ah! Wow. What? That's so cool looking. Elia Kane, communications officer. Elia. Dr. Penn Pershing. Penn Pershing. Scientist. Is everything you need here? This is perfect. I remember the first time I was in a place Aww, like this. He's nerding out. I couldn't believe I'd made it. Uh -oh. What was that? Just the ship settling. Not keep packing. rogue droids. I'll keep watch just in case. So that's all he needs is in that box. How do we it's get very, back? it screams Imperial with that. Um, hello? Oh. Oh, snap, hot. Oh, snap, hot. Mr. Science, it's L 52. Raise your hands. You were under arrest. You betrayed her? I mean, he betrayed you? You betrayed him? You were testing him? Raise your hands, L-52. Good morning, doctor. Listen, I can explain. I wasn't trying- No need. Amnesty officer G-68 has already submitted a report. Indoctrination by the Empire is challenging to overcome. Uh, um. Wait, uh, this is a mind flayer. This is a 602 mitigator. It's a non-invasive experimental treatment recently approved for rehabilitation. No, it's a mind flayer. It's a similar device, but we found at low voltages it can be used to help soothe select traumatic memories. Some pleasant colors, uh, hear a light bro. buzzing, huh. and experience a great sense of relief. That's what they in use no in Andor. You're gonna wipe my mind. Absolutely not. This isn't the Empire, son. This device is used to heal. I've been through the treatment myself, in fact, and I found the she experience me quite there. refreshing. It was a trap. Please. It I was a turp. She sent me up. He's like, I'm offended Please. by that. I know this will help him. It will. Because it was used on you? You are a real credit to this program. Are you trying to remove his knowledge of the cloning stuff out of his head? You sneaky. Can you absorb that information? <laughs> Hello, nobody stays? Hello? Oh my lord. Oh, oh. Okay. 
she totally dirty. She totally. Oh my lord. To a Mandalorian covert. Oh. This is how we have survived in exile. Oh. I'm familiar. Oh, she's gonna it's meet them. It's a secret location, and you are my guest. Bro, they don't know who they got. Come no further. You are an apostate, Dinjarin. No um, longer. Not anymore. I have been to the mines <clears throat> of Mandalore. He speaks the Impossible. Truth. I was witness. And who are you, Night Owl? Ooh, this loud Night Owl. Oh. Oh. I am bo of Clan Crees. Your house has fallen from the way. You were both apostates. Don't be rude. We have been to the living waters. And they have. She did get cleansed too, technically. Mm hmm. I have proof. They could see that liquid being from anywhere. Oh. Is it going to be special? She can analyze it. He speaks the truth. These are indeed the living waters. Din Djarin, you are redeemed. This is the way. This, this is, is the way. way. And bo Kree's. Crees. By creed, you too are redeemed. But I do not walk the way. Did you bathe in the waters? I did. And have you removed your helmet since? No, I have not. Then you may join our covert and live as your ancestors once did. Did they really all used to live like that? You may leave anytime you wish. Welcome, Bo Katan of Clan Crees. <laughs> she is knows the way. her. This, this is, is the way. way. I'm like happy for her because she's got a. Mandalorians by her side. Wow. Woo! What an interesting episode. I was happy for her because she lost everything and lost all of her followers and her home got destroyed and she had no place to go and now she has some place to be if she so chooses it. It's really, again, like, the not removing the helmet things, it seems like such a headache, literally. <laughs> yeah, I'll be curious what she decides. You know, it's really hard to resist the whole community and togetherness and building up the clan again. But yeah, I guess with them going there, maybe they can convince some for them to relocate to Mandalore. Could be, could be interesting. But yeah, a interesting take did not expect expect them to go so in depth with that story with the doctor and Elia, communications officer. Um, so clearly the whole point of it was showing he still had valuable intel. This was just her way. I mean, but the interesting thing is she could have just found a way to kill him. Like, hey, let's jump off and then phew, die, squash by a train. So why did she choose to go this route of having him present, but wiping his mind? I mean, but with this level, essentially literally like mentally murdering him. Like, it's just, I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. Now, it would be interesting if somehow that machine almost had like an extraction aspect that they were extracting that information from him. I don't believe that's how that works. But my initial instincts were right. There was something off. Too easy, too much with her is clearly working. Double teamed. But also, how is she going to let this slide? She could be like, the machine malfunction. His brain is wiped. Or like, whoa, that impacted him a lot more. Like, I don't know, man. There's, there's something. I'm not sure what path or direction they're going with that. But it seems they just don't want his information, his cloning technology to get out. Which maybe makes me think if she is working for the Empire, which it's kind of suggesting she is being like a really in-depth spy, they have somebody else with that cloning information. I mean, all of his research, they still had, had access to that. They're still working on it on the side. They don't want the New Republic to have access to it. But again, the whole thing that's confusing me is why didn't she just kill him on like the train? She had other opportunities. Maybe another trying to build up their trust in her. They're like, oh, you're so good. You're bringing people to us. You're just perfect. 
So she could have been using him in that way just to, you know. Yeah, a lot of a lot of curiosity. I'm curious about if Dr. Pershing, as we know, is gone. And so they were building up that backstory to bring a little bit more humanity to him, which they certainly did. That speech on its own did the job for me, hearing his backstory. Yeah, quite an interesting direction. Did not expect it. But I feel like they're using this to almost connect to the whole sequels with Mr. Cloning of a certain someone. Really easy to get storylines and time periods mixed up. You know, where in the timeline we are. Like, New Republic's full on in control. Empire is still out there. Imperial's still out there. I almost half expect to see, like, Sabine show up. I believe that's possible in this time. Yeah, like, Sabine, like, popping up. I was, like, looking in the crowd, like, maybe she was one of those Mandalorians. I don't know. But... Yeah, watching this simultaneously with Bad Batch. Whew. I'm like, where are they? Who's in control? I did like their reference, that guy at the beginning after the speech being like, oh, you know, I get mixed up. I tried to, I, I was almost drafted. Oh, that was, no, that was the Empire, dear. Oh, I get mixed up. They're all so confusing. Anyone from the Republic, the Empire, New Republic, all the, the Separatists, who knows? Like, they're all like, they all think they're doing what's best. But they go about it a different way, right? And that's what's interesting. They're like, oh, the Empire, we all thought we were doing the right thing. And then they're in the New Republic and they're like, I have, I'm doing the right thing. So it's that con confliction of who do I trust? And I mean, but she wasn't wrong as much as she was deceptive about trusting your own gut, which was interesting because I felt like he was initially, his gut reaction was to not trust her. So interesting point there. But that's the point is every every power has its pros and cons and on the outside I mean obviously the new republic has a lot of things right and you would you would hope with every exchange of a hand that they do something better but in my opinion going the republic to the empire to new republic the empire was doing a lot not great <laughs> um yes protection safety but a lot of freedom taken away a lot of intensity and and scarcity you know Ooh, anyways that's just a lot to think about um and i appreciate their 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 dive into that showing the almost the political side of it intermix with what in mando's world is going on it's very like a personal journey he's going on and for the mandalorians but showing the outside the rest of the world the governmental aspect um so i'm curious and to see how they're trying to make these stories converge and go from there. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for being here and uh, listening to all that word ramblings. But hopefully you glean something from it. And um, if you have any um, thoughts to share about it, feel free to put it in the comments below. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I hope you had a good time. If you want to continue to show support and you've made it this far, please give the video a thumbs up, a like. And if you're here for the first time or a re a regular but you're not subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button it's free <laughs> a free way to support and an easy way to be notified when videos go live and i'll leave it at that now thanks so much again hope you all are well and i will see you on the next one